a task trying mm, to get yummy. Oh, I can taste the garlic in that. That gravy is good. I could drink this gravy. Mm-hmm. Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the mostest at America's Best Restaurants, and we have traveled through the rain to Enterprise, Mississippi to check out the French Quarter. But we're not in Alabama, don't get confused. We're in Mississippi. Let's go see what they're all about. Come on. Welcome to the French Quarter. We're glad to have you. Thank you. So aside from the decor, which is clearly unique, tell me what are some other things that are unique about the French Quarter? So we're probably one of the only restaurants that it's like home. You come in, you're greeted with a smile, find a seat wherever you like. Um, everything's homemade. So think like yes. you're coming home to your grandma's house. Yes. Like it's very comfort in here. People love the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You can't find it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. I think people come here just for that. We'll <laughs> just sometimes, hang out? Yeah, we'll sometimes have to cut the music off so they know like, okay, we're done here. Like, <laughs> Time we're to all ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, all right, I want to head back to the kitchen. I know you guys have got a, quite a few that, foods that you want me to taste, yes. so let's go do it. All right, I am back in the kitchen with Kat, and she's going to be making me one of the first dishes I get to try, which is what? A hamburger, oh, hamburger steak, but we call it a Leroy on the menu. Oh, all right, hamburger steak. So we're starting right here with this big old thing of meat. Already mixed meat. What's, what's in there? It's just Worcestershire, uh -huh. salt, pepper, and gar mixed uh, garlic. Okay, so say I see the big old garlic chunks. That makes me excited. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> use fresh. You gotta use fresh. <laughs> and it goes on there. All right. Smack it down. <laughs> Put, uh, Throwing some onions on there. Handful of already kind of cooked onion. Awesome. Put, uh, so why do you put the cover on it? It just kind of well, whenever, especially for the cheese, it kind of just lets it good, good melted. Like steamy, yeah. steamy up and in it there. It makes it cook faster. It really does. Awesome. How long have you been cooking? Um. Uh, I mean, technically, almost nine years now. I oh, mean, wow. I went to culinary school. Did and, you? Yeah, and then I started my internship here, and I ain't left yet. Ah. What are you working on over there? Oh, the gravy. Does it get for fries? Oh my gosh, yum. <laughs> I gotta put gravy on the fries too. All right, so cat plated up the hamburger steak and then fries and smothered in gravy. Love that ad. <laughs> all right, let me dive in on this. I gotta get some of those onions because they're all like caramelized and beautiful. And then there's cheese. What cheese did you put on this? It's hoop cheese. Say what? Hoop cheese. What's hoop cheese? Cheddar cheese, basically. Okay. <laughs> but for some reason. I was like, that's a new I cheese. Mean, I'm pretty sure they, you know, other people call it that. Really? Okay. That's not something we just call it, is it? I, I don't, I, that is a new one for me. <laughs> we used to have a, well, we have actually have a cheese cutter out there. Mm. We used to cut it on, but it don't come in the big old wheel anymore, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. It was a, a task trying mm, to get yummy. that. Oh, I can taste the garlic in that. That gravy is good. I could drink this gravy. Mm-hmm. Made from a gravy this morning. Mm. Oh, dang, that's so much flavor in that gravy. All right, I gotta try fry with it. Oh, yeah. You're gonna be full and happy after you eat this thing. Oh, yeah, nobody leaves <laughs> here hungry. I that is delicious. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, I've got some more stuff to try and I can't wait for it now. All right, now I'm sitting down with owner Joey and then Lisa, who has a lot of history with this restaurant. So talk to me about the, the history and all, you, you played a few different roles here. I have. I, 2015 is when I actually came to serve here and it was probably January or February. I served for a few years and then um, the previous owner asked me to do her bookkeeping because I'd been in banking forever. Okay. So I took that over and done that for several years. 
And then when her husband got sick and she wanted to sell it, she asked me to buy it. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> or there I was. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then you were the next owner after Lisa, yes. correct? So yes. tell me when you entered into the scene, Joey. We were doing some things in the area, and uh, we've always been a, been a patron here. Mm -hmm. And uh, long story short, Lisa decided she wanted to do something different for a period of time. And we talked, had a good conversation, and we wanted to pick it up where she left it. And then so we came into the picture, and then a further conversation, and. Here she is back. So there you go. <laughs> it is real to back yep, in. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. You don't fix what's not you know, broke. There All you right, go. so tell me what I've got in front of me here. Let's start with this dish. That's the gumbo. And then this recipe came from from New Orleans, right? Like from the yes, original. The previous owner was from New Orleans and that is her recipe. And okay. Caitlin might have tweaked it or whatever, but that is her recipe. <laughs> you know, put her little spin yes, on it. But yes. this is the now and I've heard when I was doing some lives earlier today, they're like, you have to try the gumbo. Mm -hmm. So it's it's got a big name to live up to. But, <laughs> and then what what else are on these other two dishes here? You got the hummingbird cake, and then you got the pork chop, the roast potatoes, and the green beans with the cornbread. Oh, that's so dang good. Mm. Oh, I don't, do you call it gravy in a gumbo? Or a sauce, it's whatever. A roux. What's the a roux. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the roux. The roux. That's yeah. where all the that's flavor it. is. Yes. <laughs> mm, that's good. Um, and the, tell me, what's a hummingbird cake? I've never had hummingbird cake. Well, I hear it's what I should um, try, but Shelly over there made it, and I really don't know what's in it. <laughs> it's just, it's got. I really don't know. It's got nuts in it. I do know that. Fruit it's, in it? It's got fruit. It's similar to a banana nut bread, but it's not. It's not the yeah. same way. It's very sweet. It's got a good texture to it, and it's, it's got a really unique taste. All right. Very good. I'll dive into that one next. And then pork chop, and the, that came out of a cast iron skillet, yes. didn't it? You it don't is. get a crisp like no. that without. Mm -mm. <laughs> so no. what do you think the French Quarter means to the people of Enterprise? A lot of people like to come here because it's different. I worked here mm -hmm. forever and coming here like I, and I felt like I was not in Enterprise, I was somewhere else, you know? And that's what people say, it's just a different atmosphere and they love to come yeah. in here. It's like Mardi Gras. I here. have people coming here and say they will sit all day. It is. So, oh, just to I mean, be around. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's more New Orleans style. And then most of, talk to me a little bit about the recipes and, and where where they came from and how, how you, the menu was really built. Is it all from the previous owner or? Um, we've added we grabbed some from most other of people. it is from the previous owner. We just kept what we had, and we did do the pork chops. But Caitlin has done the beans and the potatoes. You know her yeah, own way. That looks like out of my granny's kitchen. Yes, <laughs> and those green beans right there, they will come in at night. When she got green beans, and they will get them green beans till they go. And there are not not many places that they ask you, do you still have green beans? Mm -hmm. it's, it's do you have still have A, B, C, or D? But very, not you're beans. not going to get that question. Not the veggies. No, except for Everything here. is homemade here. I mean, we oh, cut our green yeah, tomatoes, we do our own batter. All right, stop cutting into this pork chop. That's a big piece of meat, too. It's, you guys do not skimp on no. portions. No. I'll no. give you that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so why the French Quarter? I know that wasn't the original name. It wasn't. It was a coffee pot. And that was a family uh, name from a restaurant that the previous owners had in Brookhaven, Mississippi. And um, mm -hmm. it, you've seen the vibe here. It's it's New Orleans mm -hmm. all over the place. You cannot help it. That's exactly what when you walk in the door. But until you walk in the door, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. Even my son did not know after we made their uh, arrangement to purchase. They said, what, what do y'all do there? It's just coffee, right? Didn't know. So. That's when we started thinking about changing the name and nothing says New Orleans like the French Quarter. Yep, you're so right. Here we are. We can get a taste of New Orleans right, in Mississippi. Right, mm -hmm. without having to go like to that. New Orleans. Yes. <laughs> exactly. This is a tender piece of meat. It is so good. It's juicy and then I don't know what seasoning because I didn't see her make this, but I love the seasoning <laughs> on the outside. It's good. It's very good. So if there is something that you would you wish people knew about this restaurant, the French Quarter, that they don't know. What's one thing you would share? What do you wish mm -hmm. people knew? <laughs> I think the fact that they make, that you know, we make everything like, like Lisa said, from scratch. 
it's you know you don't get things out of a box frozen that type of thing and the mm -hmm. restaurants are original and tweaked but they are mm -hmm. your it's the fact that it's a new orleans style restaurant and again that's not what you get typically any place else outside of new orleans in this area and that's what we really like people to, to realize that you know you can go to new orleans but you don't have to go that far <laughs> i like it yeah oh my gosh this is so delicious do people clean the plate? They will clean that they bone it. on that pork I mean, they try. They try. The, oh, the they pork try. That bone the will come try. back clean. <laughs> <laughs> it will. <laughs> it will. So good. It will. There's so much flavor going on here. I haven't even dove into this cake yet. So where can we find you online? We have a Facebook. It's French Quarter. Mm-hmm. As far as... What do you guys post on that? When you're, when you're posting on your Facebook um, page? We, we normally post our specials and stuff. Mm -hmm. or, you know, we keep people updated as far as we got mm -hmm. something special coming up or Yeah, special food. events. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to, if you live in Mississippi, but you want a taste of New Orleans, then you can come to the French Quarter. Sure can. And that's where it's at. Get, oh, I love the fact that we got to taste out of this world gumbo, this pork chop. I also had your hamburger steak, the cake, this is where you go for some scratch cooking. Well, folks, this is the French Quarter, and the only thing missing is you. I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the mostest at ABR, and until next time, where we show you where the best local eats are. Ah.